Hello. Hey, well, yeah, we got, okay. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another uh, episode of That's All Funny, available anywhere podcasts are available. Uh, today, we're going to talk about, I don't know. I don't know. What is there to talk about? I watched, I've been trying to watch all the Terminators, uh, you know, the movies about the Terminators, the end of the world, AI and all that uh, mumbo jumbo. I saw the first, the first one's good. I remember seeing, I've seen it before. I think, you know, I might have seen all of them. I don't know before, but I watched the first one recently. It's good. Uh, the second one is perfect. It's the perfect, most perfect movie ever made, probably. Uh, you can literally like, it's one of those movies that you can have, I've always talked about, you could have on DVD, but if it's on cable, you have to like sit down and watch it. It's, it's like mandatory. And you can sit down from anywhere. It's just nonstop action. Great movie. Terminator 2. Um, you know, I had a lot of trouble finding Terminator 3. And Terminator 3, uh, Rise of the Machines, is the one where it's there's a woman Terminator coming after John Connor. Very ahead of its time. <laughs> but really, you know, it was more to be like sex appeal, you know, because the actress who played... Um, the terminator the the t i think it's just called a tx uh her name was christina loken or it still is i don't think she's dead but dude like in this movie she's hot she's a hot like chick like i would probably die too if a female terminator like that came after me and Arnold schwarzenegger looks he looks almost like he's doing an impersonation of himself you know because he has like I don't think he's he's gotten that haircut in a while, and then he it sounds like he he's already learned English at this point, so he's kind of doing an impersonation of his old accent. But if you've never seen Terminator Three, it's about um, John Connor being like I don't know like a in his twenties adult or something. Uh, his mom's already dead from cancer supposedly, and um that tx which is the chick terminator that's kind of like a t-1000 but also a, an exoskeleton with t-1000 metal or whatever uh she sent back to kill his generals like not him personally because they failed to kill him so they sent her back to kill his like generals from the future or whatever and the, the only real like people you can kind of focus on is John Connor is supposedly like the the girl that he's going to marry in the future is played by Claire Danes which she's from um what is that show on Showtime is it Homeland is that what it was what it was called I can't remember now but it was a good show it was a good show for like the first 3 seasons and then you know it kind of fell off but it was a good show if y'all remember that show I think it was called Homeland it was a good show very good show very uh edge of your seat type oh shit uh, CIA shit right and terrorist shit but you had um Claire Danes was there Arnold Schwarzenegger was there that Christina Loken like I said she was a hot chick uh there um now she looks kind of like I don't know if y'all know Sunny from wrestling how she was like hot as hell and then she turned into the like this chunky ass mess of a woman so I think she's just like I don't know like I'd have to look her up but I think she's kind of like not attractive now <laughs> at least by the standards of uh her old uh self you know what I mean like she was fucking hot in that movie uh but yeah th if you've ever seen Terminator 3 uh it's just like action for the sake of action it's trying so hard to be Terminator 2 like right off the bat and I don't know it's and then the ending's just all, like, bleh. Like, it's realistic. Yeah, you know, that makes sense. But it's also just like, bleh, this is how it ends, you know? But, I don't know. It, it's interesting to see, like, uh, them have given the, you know, villain spot to a female Terminator. Not have fucking uh, Sarah Connor in it. And I think this was at the point, too, obviously... um uh james cameron didn't direct this i don't even uh, obviously he didn't write it or direct it i think this was a point and uh you can correct me if i'm wrong because i'm probably wrong but uh james cameron was actually with uh linda hamilton 
uh, the chick who played Sarah Connor, like he was legit, like with her, like married to her. And then they had a divorce. And when <laughs> they divorced, and I think when they split like their finances and all that, because that's what happens in divorces, you know, it's all contracts and shit, especially with rich white people or just rich people, not even white people, because it happened to my mom and dad. When they split it down the middle, I think they gave the Terminator franchise to Linda Hamilton. And she didn't, like, really want to do anything with it. She just, okay, yeah, this person can direct it, this person, whatever. You know, as long as I get paid, I'm sure. And so, you know, uh, I'm sure Arnold asked James Cameron for his blessing. And he was all, yeah, go ahead and do it. So he did, you know, Terminator 3. And yeah, you could just see like Terminator 3, it's it's okay compared to like the movies that are made now, but uh back then uh it was garbage. <laughs> Especially when you compare it to the greatness that is Terminator 2. Like it, it could not it tried so hard to be Terminator 2 from the get-go and it just like I'm sorry, you know. Uh but again, that chick is hot. Like, uh, she is fucking hot in the movie. I would watch it. Like, I rented it. I had to rent it on Microsoft, uh, on my Xbox for three ninety nine in HD, which, um, it was worth it to see, um, that hot chick. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, four bucks. And I had store credit. I had like 15 bucks in store credit. I was like, you know what? I'll rent this movie here because I literally cannot find it anywhere else. And I want to watch all the Terminators, even, uh, the Sarah Connor Chronicles too. I want to watch. Which if y'all uh, knew of that, and if I talked about it, I don't know if I did. I, I forget doing daily shit, but um, that was like a series where Sarah Connors is like a teenager and they send a Terminator, like a girl Terminator to what, like help her or be her buddy against like all these random threats. I don't know, whatever. It, it worked for a while. I heard it was good and I think I might have watched a few episodes, but I don't remember it. So I'll, I'll watch that. After I fucking finish the behemoth that is The Walking Dead. But Terminator 3, I give it like, I don't know, a 4. It, like I said, if if it didn't have that hot ass chick, uh, Christina Loken, I, I wouldn't even like care. But she's, she was fucking hot back then. I should try to hit her up to interview her about Terminator 3. <laughs> Just about Terminator 3. And um, speaking of Terminator, and that's, that's the whole point of this episode too. Is uh, I was watching a, a Trump uh, rally. He was rallying in Houston at a, like a factory, right? That I don't know makes oil or tar or whatever the fuck, like a mach heavy machinery factory, right? And you know, he his, his speeches are like really good wrestling promos where they just the crowd gets all hyped up. They're like, "Yeah, woo, Trump!" You know, or every time he says Biden, they're all "boo, boo," you know. Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe, you know, China, the China virus. Um, but I need to deepen my Trump impression. I need to work on it. But there was a part where he uh, said, uh, I, I know in Houston, you got you got the three G's. The three G's are what you do. You got you got gas. You got. Oh, what do you say? Fuck. I've already fucked it up. You got gas. You got God. And you got guns. And everyone's all, yeah, woo! A cheering all rowdy like he just delivered a fucking uh, Steiner math promo and shit, you know? And uh, all while that was going on, while while we're watching, while I'm watching this rally uh, that he's doing, um, they have, like, advertisements running, like, picture in picture. And they had, like, the MyPillow guy fucking 80% off everything because his life's ruined from uh, going right. And uh, they had buy everything in gold, buy buy all, convert all your uh, IRA, 401k into gold. Okay, cool. But they had, man, and I wish I had money. I would like legit buy this if I had the money right now. They had a Trump bobblehead that looked like the Terminator and it said Trumpinator, <laughs> the Trumpinator. And it said, I'll be back in 2024. And that was like, it was so fucking funny to me. Like, it was just so, I don't know. It just cracked me, cracked me up so bad. And I'm like, dude, whoever thought of that needs a fucking raise. Because that is so, that is such good. Like, I, I would 
tell like my buddy uh to draw me something like that you know what i mean like hey draw me like this hey do this like this of me you know and someone was just saw hey why don't we make trump look like the terminator and he puts i'll be back in 2024 it's so fucking good it's like i don't know it was just like so smart to me like the, i don't know I, I i appreciate shit like that even if uh it is trump and you know like he, love him or hate him he did some things right some things wrong all politicians i think are just crooked people whether they're crooked or less crooked or more crooked they're just crooked you know what i mean uh so i'd rather have trump because at least i know what kind of evil he is than the uh, uh all the other um you know political candidates that we don't know what kind of evil they have in their minds you know but either way um i feel like the world is suffering and it's like y you look at uh the elections coming up and that's all they're going to care about whether it's like biden or uh the candidates or trump just the election just winning it not necessarily caring about the country caring about what's going on outside of the country it's just about winning and then once they win they can coast you know you had trump always golfing you had biden always at the beach or tripping on shit like i don't know i feel like all politicians are crooked and i i'd rather just uh stick with the evil i know than the evil i don't but uh yeah that trumpinator shit i'm like dude i wish i could have bought that bobblehead that would have been fucking badass to <laughs> like a real collector's item nah it'd just be funny to have you know and that's the show here that's all funny where everything's funny at nah um fi uh lastly i want to share with you i don't know it'd be funnier i guess uh no I, I was gonna do like an impression of my of doing like a japanese person translating themselves but it doesn't really do well for radio also or audio radio. I'll save it for later. It's it's not it, it, it I don't know. It's it's not funny when you just listen to it. It's it, it has to be like video as well. But whatever. I don't know. I'm sure I'll think of I don't know. It just sounds funny now th thinking about trying to explain it is is funnier than anything. But yeah, what did you think of uh Terminator 3? <laughs> and what did you think of Trump Trump in office? Nah. Um, I appreciate y'all listening. Um, you know, find us anywhere podcasts are available. That's all funny. Um, you know, anywhere podcasts are available. Check out the Patreon if you want to help support the uh, podcast directly. Patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. $5 gets you everything. Gets you bonus episodes. Gets you ad free episodes. Gets you some other stuff. Early content. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, check out the YouTube for videos of interviews and other random uh, tidbits. Uh, YouTube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. And uh, if you want to uh, buy any official That's All Funny merchandise, check out the website, uh, retrohorrorinc.com, where you can, uh, you know, buy some pretty good merchandise. Just hit up me, you know, at Lorenzo Ariola on Twitter or Instagram. Or if you want to commission some great art from a great artist, Hit up my buddy right, Retro Horror Inc. Inc. on his website, retrohorrorinc.com, or on Instagram, at Retro Horror Inc. But yeah, I want to thank you for listening. Thank you to all my patrons that, uh, you know, support the show. And we'll keep just doing shit. I don't know because it's funny. And I don't know. I'll keep watching the Terminator movies. Why, why not? You know, I, I, it's not very big of a saga, you know. So we'll we'll figure something out. But yeah, take care and be safe. Bye. I need to eat them.